Welcome again to ASP.NET Core MEC tutorial. In this video, we will learn how can we generate the fields of a form automatically by making some changes into the model class. Let's start. How can we generate the form fields automatically from model? To generate the fields of a form, we have to make some changes into our model class and we can make those changes by using some attributes. Let's focus on the attributes now. There is a new attribute in system.componentModel.DataAnnotations namespace and the attribute name is data type. In the constructor of this data type, we have to pass the name of our type. Suppose I want to generate a password field, then I have to type over here password. For example, I want to create a new field of date time type. Suppose I want to open the calendar, then I can handle everything from this data type attribute. Let's open the Visual Studio and let's see how it works in practical project. Here we are back to our bookstore web application. I can run this application by pressing Ctrl F5. To add a new book, we are using this form. Let's click on the add new book link. Here is the form. Now suppose I want to make some changes in this form. Let's open the model class. Inside the models folder, we have a new class book model. We are using the same model class to generate our form. Suppose on this form, I want to add a new custom field. First of all, let's add a new property for this new custom field. Suppose the name of property is my field. Corresponding to this property, I want to add a new field into my form. Perfect. Let's go to the form. Form is available inside views folder. Let's open the book folder and here we have a new add new book form. Let's copy this new form group. Let's paste it again. Inside this label tag and this ASP4 attribute, I will be using my field attribute. Let's use the same for ESP4 as well and same for the validations as well. Remember, if you are generating your field from the model class, then you have to use only this input ESP4. You do not have to use any other type of input tag. You simply can use this input and ESP4 attribute. Just simply enter the name of your property. Perfect. Let's build the solution and simply run this application by pressing Ctrl F5. Go to the add new book. Over here you can see that we have the title of our new field, it is my field and we have a new input field over here. Let's see the details of this input field, right click on this one and choose inspect. Inside the inspect you can focus that this is a type of text. So here you can see type is equals to text, it means it is a simple text box. Let's make some changes into this field now. To make some changes into this field we have to use a new attribute and the name of the attribute is data type. Let's see what this data type is. You can right click on this data type and choose go to definition. Here you can focus that this is a validation attribute and inside the constructor of this data type attribute we have to pass the type of our data type. Let's see what is this data type. Again right click on this data type and choose go to definition. This data type is a enum and over here you can see that there are large number of types of these fields date time, date, time, duration, phone number, currency, text, html there are loads of number of types are available over here let's try to use these types into our form first we will start from this date time inside this data type constructor we have to pass the enum and it is data type dot suppose first I am using date time Let's save all the changes, build the solution again, refresh this page and this time you can notice that this field has been updated automatically. Over here you can see that we have a calendar symbol. If I click on this calendar, you can see we are getting a calendar. This is the date section and this is the time section. Because we have chosen date time, that is why we are able to see this date time over here. You can use any date from this calendar. We can choose any year as well any month and then any date. We can also choose the time. Suppose I want to select 2 p.m. Okay, here is the hours, then we have minutes and then EM and PM. So over here in the field, you can notice that this is the date and this is the time. Perfect. Now suppose I want to change the label as well. To change the label of our field, we simply have to use display attribute. And how to do that? Display. Inside the display, we have to pass the name property. Perfect. 
let's run this solution in debug mode now and let's put a breakpoint into the controller class go to the add new book page okay here you can notice that we have the custom title and then we have the field of date time let's focus on the html of this field right click on this field and choose inspect this time you can notice the type of this field is date time local okay it means you can choose date and time both of them together let's close this one and choose a date time suppose i'm using this date perfect let's enter some titles click on the add book let's see what data we got into this book model so here in the my field property you can notice that we are getting date and time as well so if you have a field into your database table then you can store this value into your field or if you want to use this field for some other logic then here is that data into your property and you can use it accordingly suppose i do not want to save it into the database so i can execute it directly like this we can also add the validations to this field as well all other validations like required or string length or whatever validation is applicable to this field you can add all of them over here now let's try the second data type suppose instead of using this date time now i want to use only date field okay let's update this display as well build this solution click on the add new book link this time you can see that we are having this field only for the date type if i click on this calendar then you can notice that we have only section for the date we do not have any section to choose the time perfect let's choose a date here on the title as well you can notice that we have the updated title let's click on the add book and in the my field property you can notice that we are getting the date click on the continue button these validations error are for other fields of the form but we are working on this custom my fields so this my field is working fine similar to the date you can use time as well if you will use time then over there into the form you will see that you have a section only for time let's try some other data type as well suppose now i want to use password this password field is required when we create a login form or the sign up form then we need this password field update the display property as well enter your password build the solution and run this application again let's click on the add new book this time you can notice that we have this field and if i type anything into this field then you can notice that nothing is visible to the user everything is visible as the dot why because it is a password field now and if i see the details of this password field right click on this field and choose inspect here into the developers window you can see that the type of this field is password so this field is generated automatically from the model class we do not have to make any change into our form we simply can update everything from this model class perfect let's enter some details into the password field and click on the add book button let's see what we got into the model class here into the my field you can see that we are getting the value of that password field the value is nitis because i have entered nitis into that field that is why we are getting this value over here so by using this approach you can create several type of fields onto your form let's again learn about some more data type email address suppose i want to create a new field for email address let's choose this one data type dot email address perfect let's run this application go to the add new book again okay we have not updated this title so do not worry about that let's enter some email over here suppose i'm writing this and click on the add book this time you can notice that we are getting an html error please include at the rate in the email address if this is missing at the rate let's focus on the html as well in the html you can notice that the type of this input field is email that is why we are getting this error if you want to disable the html validations then you can do that easily for this we have to go to our form and inside this form we can simply use no validate okay let's save all the changes go back to the browser again click on this add new book let's enter some more data over here 
it is click on the add book okay this time you can see that we are getting this data over here into this my field if you want to validate this data then you have to use the second attribute of email address the main purpose of using data type is only to generate a field onto the form it is not used to validate the data suppose you want to validate this email address field then you can simply use one more attribute over here email address you can also use the regex let's again run this application click on the add new book let's enter some wrong details now it is click on the add book perfect so here is the value into the my field continue and here is the error the enter your password field is not a valid email address this detail is coming because we have entered the display as enter your password that is why we are getting this text over here into this error message but we are validating our data that this field is not a valid email address there are a couple of things that are still not working in this asp.net core for example if you will use some data type like upload or or you will use this multi-line text then you can notice that these will not work on your form okay so some of them are working and some of them are not working so if something is not working on your form this does not mean that you have written some wrong code into your application these are not working because they are not implemented as of now into asp.net core mvc so do not worry about them if in future the team will add that support for these data type then you will see that these will work automatically but for now some of them are working and some of them are not working using this data type attribute we can create a form there is no need to write everything onto our form we can simply generate the fields of our form from the model class directly there are loads of data types available in this form you have to try all of them and you have to make a list of what all are working for you and what all are not working for you and once you will complete this assignment you have to tell everything into the comment section you have to enter your comment in such a way that these fields are working for me and these fields are not working for me that is all in this video make sure you hit the like button of this video enter the result of your assignment into the comment section if you want to ask anything else to me then you can ask everything into the comment section share this video subscribe to the channel and please join the web dental youtube channel thank you for watching have a great day